What is up, catfish people? Guess what? I'm not on a boat. I'm actually sitting in my yard. Uh, let me get my camera just give y'all a minute to rally up and join up and come in the house and see what's going on. Hard to get dark here on the uh, For those of y'all that don't know, I'm in the eastern time zone. In the yeah, it's uh, that's better. So I'm sitting outside, so God knows what you're going to hear and what you're going to see. Um, between dogs and children and cars and people passing by that don't know what's going on who knows what you're gonna see so like this little child uh that's walking up now so anyway i'm prepping to go to kentucky deer hunting i'm leaving uh tomorrow morning about 4 a.m and gonna be out there this is deer season time and uh what do you do stick taylor i think we have a guest here hang on jump up here come here, come here. wait come right here and i'll come over here i'll pick you up have Taylor here. Come run to this side. And that, 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 uh, uh, oh. All right, you get to make a cameo appearance here for a second, okay? So this is, guess where we're, what I, I'm on right now? Um, Put this stick down. Your my, truck? I, I'm on my truck, but do you know what? Do you know what I'm looking at this on? Do you see all these people talking here? Yeah. This is YouTube. You're live on YouTube right now, okay? And daddy is talking to some people tell them about my hunting trip that i'm getting ready to go on and all the prep that i'm doing taylor's a big youtube kids fan and she kind of knows the lingo and kind of knows I have the 50 subscribers you don't have 50. uh-huh do you really okay she's got a little youtube channel so uh i don't think she's got 50. make make, make sure you watch mine too there you go make sure you watch hers too everybody is saying hello taylor uh -huh. uh, she's out here running around with grace and they're in the yard playing uh like i was saying i'm just prepping getting ready to uh head to kentucky deer hunting for a couple of days and taylor's gonna show you a ring <laughs> and uh just want to stop in and say hey i've been taping some stuff uh i was doing some silicone stuff on some boots smell that what's that smell like smell that well, yeah, put a little silicone spray on there to get those up. I did a boot review on these boots that I got from Cabela's. I'll have that up in a couple of weeks. It's a pretty good review. I have a scooter. She does have a scooter. And how I repaired the toe on these. Uh, so I got that video coming up. We live in North Carolina. That's right. And we do live in North Carolina. And uh, so yeah, I just got some stuff going on. I cut some fishing rod videos today. That was some stuff that I did. Uh, so we got all those going and uh, hadn't been on the water fishing have been uh, J Max said scooters are awesome That's cool. Yeah, that's what you're reading right there Not quite able to read the comments yet, but she's working on it um, I know how to spell Taylor, which is my name. How do you spell it? Uh, T and I don't know that. T and I don't know that. That's pretty good um, And Grayson over here. Grayson come chime in. Come jump in Come, you gotta squeeze in on this. It's up. like a line and then a line. It's a line and then a line on the top. Grayson and I have been deer hunting a bunch. I'm trying to make room for him to climb in here. We have been deer hunting a bunch. He has been uh, in the woods. Up, nope, don't climb up there. He has been lean in here, Grayson. Where are you going, Taylor? He's been in the woods <laughs> hunting a bunch. I think we're up to how many deer have we seen now? Uh, over 70. Yeah, we're over 70 deer that we've seen. Uh, a lot of bucks, a lot of does. Uh, it's just no shooters yet. So uh, We had one shooter come on top of us. Grayson like, says it's a shooter. I don't think it's a shooter. <laughs> There's a magic it, wand here. I think it was, uh, yeah, don't touch the magic wand because that makes the screen twist around. Uh -oh. And don't get right up in the camera because then they can't see all of your face. Uh, but... That's been it with the uh, deer. We haven't got anything to take yet. No more wasps, J Mac. Uh, we uh, didn't have any wasp nests this year. I will say this though: that is the most. Watch your leg. Stand up. There we go. Put your shirt down. There we go. Lean down now. That is the most watched, or one, the second most watched video that I've got. Believe it or not, the one with the wasp nest. So. Uh, Anyway, uh, don't climb up there. That's a soft top. You can't get up there. It'll rip and but, you'll fall. And, and you'll fall away. and then you'll fall on video and then that will just go viral. But uh, <laughs> and we'll, we, get, we'll make millions. Yeah, yeah, I wish. Uh, thank you for the kind words on the podcast. Trying to do mm. more of those. I've got uh, uh, I got one coming out every week. You going to jump down and play? You going to jump? Yeah. All right, hang on. Don't jump. You may get hurt. Let me ease you down. All right. All right, run off with her, Grayson. Go keep her entertained. Uh, 
Later. <laughs> I'm under the camera. Oh, you'll be back on in a minute. Love you. Love you. Y'all play. Y'all run around like little Whoa, minions that you are. Anyway, where was I? Uh, I've been fishing a lot. Uh, fishing a lot, not. Uh, it's all been hunting here for the past few weeks, and uh, it's kind of what's been going on. I, like I said, I've got some fishing videos coming. Fishing, some stuff. Going on, stuff but I'll be back fishing. Probably, and then I'll be off. Uh, kind of off for a little bit. Then we go down to the beach to do some uh, to do some fishing. So uh, fishing, vacation, that kind of thing. Somebody asked where I'm going in Kentucky. I'm going to Hopkinsville, which is in Christian County. Uh, so yeah, I'll be out there in that area. Uh, be out there. Let's see. When we get out tomorrow, we'll be coming back on Wednesday. Unless I see something really big and can't get a shot, then it may be after that. So, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to drop in for a minute. Uh, gonna right now the video schedule is about a video a week, uh, maybe two going on, but that's gonna get ramped up a whole bunch. Uh, here in a couple of weeks, and there'll be a lot more stuff. I'm going to try to do more of these live deals like this. Uh, try to do some that are a little better done. This one I just kind of threw together at the last minute so I could jump in here and say hi. Uh, I'm going to do some with hopefully a little bit better interaction. What's up, Muddy River Cat Fishing from out there in uh, beautiful New Mexico? Hope things are doing well. Message me or call me tomorrow, Muddy River Chris Flores. Uh, call me. I'm going to be driving seven hours to Kentucky, so call me. I've got a question for you. got something I'll throw out to you. But uh, I listen to podcasts on the way to deer hunting. Thank you for listening. It's uh, still in its fledgling stages, still learning how to play the game and navigate around on there. I hadn't been promoting the heck out of it a bunch. It's fun. Uh, that's going to get ramped up, too, a little bit uh, come December. I'm going to try to bring in more guests because you can only listen to me jack my jaws for so long. And I think having some guests on there is really entertaining and good. And so I got some good people that I want to bring on. So, uh, yeah, that's what the uh, plans are. Would like to do two of them a week. Right now I'm just doing one. But I want to keep the videos at two a week. And uh, probably be doing more and more as the winter goes on. It'll get, uh, it'll probably get busy going up to Christmas. So we'll see how things go. But. That's kind of what's going on from uh, my world. No fishing. I haven't fished since, I want to say, first week of October. We were at the beach and taped some shark fishing shows down there that are uh, will be trickled out over the next couple of weeks. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's all been in the woods for me, and that's the way it goes every year. I'm always in the woods hunting, and uh, uh, Grayson will probably shoot something at some point. I'll cut him loose here. We, we got to get some deer meat in the uh, freezer. The wife gave me the uh, deer meat count, and we're only down to uh, I think single digits pound wise. So something has to die. Uh, is the bottom line. That's just the way it works in our house. Something has to die so that uh, we can eat. So, uh, so we're gonna cut him loose on something. Hopefully, I get something in Kentucky. Uh, you never know what's gonna happen out there. Uh, it, we've got some bad weather coming through. Some of you guys in other parts of the country uh, will be getting some of that either today or I guess there, one line's coming through now and then another one's coming through I think Sunday into Monday, something like that. There uh, might even be some snow out where we're at, and which is kind of rare in uh, Kentucky uh, this time of the year anyway. So uh, we'll see what happens. I've been out there. It's funny, I was telling my son that the past when I first started going out there about 10 or 12 years ago remember there were some days it was kind of cool but a lot of days it was downright warm I mean it was, it was I always took warm weather gear with me and like for the past three or four years man it's been we've had we had one hunt out there like three years ago four years ago where there was snow on the ground not a lot but there was a little bit of white uh, last year we had sleet uh, and freezing rain during one of the days and right now it's looking like Monday night may have some stuff going on so for us in Kentucky this far south I know a bunch of you guys in Illinois and Minnesota and where it's really cold that's no big deal but for us getting some snow this time of year during deer season doesn't happen too often so uh, so yeah we just gotta just gotta be prepared for it and I went from packing my normal stuff to a bunch of cold weather stuff so we'll see uh i put a thing up on my Dieter Melhorn fishing page about uh, on my facebook page uh just about ideas for stuff uh content wise on youtube and also on facebook so if you haven't been over there go over to Dieter Melhorn fishing on facebook i have to say it right and uh throw your comments out there and let me know uh, 
you know, what you like, what you want to see, who you want to hear on the podcast. Sadly, YouTube still has my comments turned off. They came on on a video a few weeks ago and they were on for about a day and a half and then they got turned off. And then a video the other day out of the blue from months ago, the comments got turned on and then got turned off a little while later. So I don't think it's ever going to get turned back on. I'll be honest with you. I think, uh, I think you're going to do away with comments at some point here pretty soon just because of some of the stuff going on with the uh, federal government and FCC and stuff. So uh, I actually know a couple of creators who have them on. I don't mind dealing with the comment their own comments on my YouTube. I'd love to hear uh, Matter of fact, I invite it. If you want anything to say about a video, comment, or anything, I uh, page it on YouTube, and I've got a link to every video that I put up. And if you're subscribed channel, you'll be notified when those comments go up. You can comment there. I love hearing the comments. I love getting the feedback. Love it or hate it. I like hearing about it. That's good information to have. And uh, I appreciate y'all taking the time to do that. You can also go to my website and comment. Uh, send me ideas and stuff. A lot of people don't like to do stuff publicly. And I understand that. Uh, I get a lot of people that like to keep stuff private. And that's fine. No problem. DieterMelhornFishing.com. You can go in there. You can email me or text me. And uh, ideas, comments, all that kind of stuff. So... Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what's going. I'd like to ramp up all this stuff. You know, I still have a job. I'm not YouTubing full time. Uh, you know, I would love to one day or at least have the freedom to do it a lot more. Uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully it'll get to that point. We'll see. Uh, but right now it's still fun. Still a lot of work. Uh, a lot of work to get up the content that I put out right now and try to keep a, a pretty fevered schedule there of getting stuff up. So uh, we'll uh, see see how it goes i saw somebody mention catfish dave what you call catfish dave uh that was a big comment from a lot of people they wanted to see us fish together <clears throat> it's like uh I, I was telling somebody uh i'm gonna be out in tennessee sometime probably in december uh definitely in january and i'm gonna show up in one of catfish dave's videos whether he knows it or not so uh i actually showed up in one last year i believe year before last that's when my channel was still small and his was still small and uh, uh but I, a lot of people know who both of us are now uh, i think we're kind of in the same group of people that are watching videos so uh yeah i'd love to just go hang out with him and uh uh spend you know some time out there fishing with him and uh hanging out and doing my own little video thing while he does his and catches some fish so uh good guy uh be fun to hang out with him on the bank some more and chat and talk he's interesting to talk to uh believe it or not uh, i got to talk to him a bunch at the catfish conference we actually did a live interview which i have here on my channel <clears throat> and uh cool guy to talk to a uh, very very informative uh smart fisherman and uh, uh it's got a lot of knowledge his knowledge uh a lot of it will apply to somebody fishing in a boat too and the stuff he knows he would be uh, you know, very dangerous if he was fishing from a boat, uh, as he is fishing from the bank. So I think he likes the challenge of what he's doing and uh, he does a good job with it. Does a good job with the channel. Uh, got a real cool feel to it. Uh, got just a, you know, a very stylized look to what he does and how he does it. So yeah, we'll try to uh, partner up with him at some point. It'll be fun. So, uh, yeah, what was that question? Do you ever use fresh carp meat while fishing? You're dang right I do when I can get it. Uh, I like carp for bait. It is a very good bait. One of the best things to do with carp is if you can get them alive. I like the smaller ones, and this is terrible, but beat them with a baseball bat while they're still alive. And it bruises and tears up the meat, and the meat and muscle, meat muscle absorbs the blood. It's a good way to get blood into the tissue and stuff. So, uh, not exactly the nicest thing in the world, but it works. So, as you can see, the sun's setting. It's getting dark. All I've got is a street light here lighting up my face right now. But, yeah, I'm going to try to do some more of these live things. I'm going to try to pick a night because I know we have Catfish Weekly. My wife's over here laughing at me doing this, sitting out here in the truck. Uh, we have Catfish Weekly on Monday night. We have uh, Chris Souders on Tuesday night. Wednesday night is Patriot James and his show. So maybe I can come on Friday, Thursday. Maybe I can come on on Sunday. Uh, Tater's back. Hang on. Come here. Come here. You got to come say bye-bye real quick. All right. Bye-bye. So bye-bye. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. Just wanted to drop in and say hey for a minute and uh, let y'all know I'm alive, doing well. We'll be back on soon. And uh, 
I'm gonna if punch you, out of here from if that. If you look at Walmart, there's there's gonna be Ryan toys. Wow. For wow. Kids. You know I don't have an affiliate link on my uh, webpage for that, so don't don't drive traffic to somewhere where <laughs> I can't make money to buy you toys with. That's good. Enough. Hey, what do, what do you tell all the fans to do? What are they supposed to do? Subscribe and, and a like, and click that bell button. Bam! I was totally unrehearsed. That's pretty good. <laughs> you can tell she watches a little bit of YouTube. Subscribe, like, and hit that bell button. That's right. So you get notified. That's cool. I watch I watch videos so that I can so that I do videos. Yep, yeah, she's doing some little videos. Uh, they're actually we actually got a bunch of them. I'm gonna go in in the house and make a video. Her uh her channel, just in case you're interested, is. It's just a little channel with a little bit of stuff. Don't jump. You're going to fall. Hang on. Let go. Let go. Let go. It's called Taterville. Let's see if the reconnect work. Hopefully, I'm still here. Give me a thumbs up real quick. I was going to close that out. What's that? Are you on Facebook? Uh, YouTube. I'm on YouTube. I got my wife over here watching the thing with me. Um, okay. Got a thumbs up. I'm still there. Something I think went away for a second. But what was I saying? Taylor. What was that? Oh, tailoring. I got my wife. Having my wife here as a producer off camera helps me stay on track with what I'm doing. Uh, Taylor and Grayson had this little competition because they both got little channels. They don't do a lot on it yet, but they got their little channel. And Grayson got a mention whenever, uh, I think it was on Catfish Weekly or something. He got some subscribers. He got a subscriber bump. So go over Poor and Taylor. subscribe to Taterville. T-A-T-E-R-V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, I think is what it's called. It's got a couple of videos on there. You gotta edit. And if he beats Grayson, it may not end well. So anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. The uh, video's dropping in and out. I'm out here in New York. I'm gonna jump off here from now. I may try doing a live from out in Kentucky tomorrow. We'll see what the connectivity is out there. And uh, anyway, that's it for now. You guys have a good evening.